Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the Cowboys news and nuggets coming out of the combine, who the Cowboys like, and uh, the news of Tony Pollard. Okay, this is serious. We're going into this brand new cap that I got. I'm still supporting these dumbasses. You know, I uh, still love these guys. It's a love-hate relationship at this point with the Cowboys, but I still rep the blue. You know what time it is. Come on, come on. All right, so... That's what it is, it's the newest cap. It's a new era, exclusive. You, if you guys can get it, go get it. That's fucking sweet ass cap, bro. I love it. Um, but yeah, latest news, man. Cowboys met with a ton of prospects, okay? What I wanna put out there right now to, to make clear for everybody, in most combine seasons, the news of who the Cowboys met with and this sorts of things, uh, pervasive as we've seen this season. So it makes me question the legitimacy of some of these. I think there's a lot of chum in the water with these. Everybody, and the, all, almost the whole list is out there. And this has never happened before. You know what I mean? So take that with a grain of salt with the, with the visits, uh, informal, formals, this sorts of thing. It's never been this much. <laughs> even, even the... Even the home there at DallasCowboys.com was releasing who the Cowboys were meeting with. So um, it's, a little, it's a little suspect. It's a little sp suspect to me that a lot of these names were out, but a lot of names were missing. Okay. If you look at the list, um, nothing very impressive, bro. Okay. So does this lead to this supposed bullcrap rumor that's out there about, oh, the Cowboys are going to do something big? You know, I mean, you look at the names. And I, and I said this already. This, this is a weak draft class. From the past three draft classes, this is, this is not one of my favorites. It's not a good one. Uh, wide receiver class sucks. A lot, a lot of small little bitty motherfuckers in here. Oh, we're going to go. We looked at, we talked to Zay Flowers and this other little motherfucker. They're not going to get him, bro. Elijah Moore, Rondell Moore, Isabella, all these little fucks. They're, they never do shit, bro. Okay, so let, let's get let's get the... And get your head right, all right? Cowboys don't do it. They don't even translate for the most part in the NFL. There, there's not a Tyreek Hill uh, growing on trees, <laughs> all right? So, uh, and that. The, the little bitty running back, same shit, bro. Oh, Devin A. Chain, this guy. a and running backs translate to NFL. <laughs> they ain't going to do it. Like, and plus, he's little, all right? Oh, but he's fast as shit. They met with him. Chum in the water, bro. And they're going to look at a running back. What Mike McCarthy likes to do, speed. That's Pollard. They just gave him the franchise tag. Now, power, all right? You're not going to get power from a little bitty guy. Right? So, so you know, either a free agent, Jamal Williams, the, there's ties there with McCarthy, or you go get somebody um, with some power, with like, with like a Zach Charbonnet, Okay. Uh, Jameer Gibbs falls into this. He's got the height. He hits all those, all those well. And Bijan. Okay, so those three running backs would be the guys to look at. Bijan, Zach Charbonnet, and uh, Jameer Gibbs if they go early at running back. But the, the, the little bitty guys, the, the little hobbit fucks, they ain't gonna do it, man. They ain't gonna do it. Oh, but they visited with him. And that and <laughs> does not mean shit, man. What you gotta look for now here to get through all the chum because a, a lot of these names that are out here are chum bro a lot of them because all the names that have leaked out it's a shitload of names so this has never happened all right it's always been crumbs oh uh, this and that all of a sudden this year all of it out now nah, this, this, this is planned bro so uh you know take all the names and the, with a grain of salt man when you now the 30 visits all right the 30 visits, and those are the ones that take more weight, all right? Now, who will the 30 visits be? Those will start coming out. You start looking at the Cowboys going to the uh, pro days. Uh, oh, okay, well, they met with him at the senior ball. Check. They met with him at the combine. Check. They met with him at his pro day. And that's another check. And that's high interest. 30 visit, super high interest. We'll be tracking these names as they come along, uh, but you know what it is, guys. You know what it is. Uh, tagging Pollard, it's a no-brainer. I don't understand these guys that are, that are mad at this. You know, yeah, maybe try to work the deal out, but for me, 
Um, I'm fine with it. Let's see how he looks, bro. You know, it, it's like, uh, it's like wrecking your freaking car, you know, and expecting it to run in pristine condition, you know, when you get it back out of the shop, you know, uh, you, you gotta make sure the shit's running good, man, before you invest more into it, right? So, can't be stupid about it. I'm fine with it. I'm totally fine with, with, with the franchise tag. Um, I let them find money elsewhere. Zeke, you know, you move on from that, all right? Um, but Jerry Jones, dumbass out here saying, oh, I want to keep him in this and that. That's a guy that cannot let go of players. So, hopefully, somebody in this dumbass front office uh can help pull the fucking band-aid off okay this team is notorious with holding on the players and getting no value okay getting no value uh, look what tennessee's doing they're rebuilding what asset do they have in place that can garner some more picks Derek henry he's on the training block okay uh baltimore ravens okay um uh, maybe they're gonna do an exclusive tag maybe they want more picks Maybe they, they've seen enough from Lamar. Okay, we're going to do a little soft reboot. So, you got to have balls in this damn league, man, to, to make some moves. So, let's see what the Cowboys do. Uh, I'm pumped for it. I'm, 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 I'm glad that we're getting to the season where, you know, stuff is going to have to start to, to come into focus now, you know. Cuts. I want to see who these guys are going to freaking release, all right? Uh, LVE, Donovan Wilson, these guys are probably gone. Um, you know, unless they can work out a deal, but knowing these cheapskates, it won't happen. All right. Uh, both those players have, have had an outstanding season last year. So time for them to cash in, man. Cowboys don't care for the players, bro. They got to look out for themselves. All right. And that, that just, that's the name of the game here. All over the league. You know what I mean? So, uh. You know, kudos to those guys. Get your money, man. Uh, for, the, for the Cowboys, the big ticket free agents, the guys that have already been released, they're not going to do it, man. Cowboys just don't do it. Uh, so it really is not worth, you know, getting, you know, so invested in, 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 in the names that are out there. Oh, man, maybe we're going to trade for Jalen Ramsey. You know? I'm, I'm with you guys. I, I would love Jalen Ramsey. I would love one of these big ticket receivers, but... You know, these guys, you know, they're notorious for for what they do, uh, for putting their roster together, putting together a cheap-ass roster that they think, you know, is, it's all bubble gum. And it's all, you know, taped up. You know, oh, man, okay, here we go. Maybe this version won't get us to somewhere, past the divisional round. So let's see what these idiots come up with. All right, I, I don't have faith in this front office, you know. Oh, why, why do you follow the team then? I mean, I do, man. I love the Cowboys, you know. I, I grew up with, with this guy here, man. I, I know what what building a shitty team is, and getting to the playoffs and continue to build and getting Super Bowls. We haven't done that here, man. Under Mike McCarthy, this might be the closest that, that we've gone, but they have a lot more to do, you know what I mean? 212 win season, that's awesome. But now you got to get to the next level and then start rolling in the Super Bowls. All right. Um, that's where we're at. And that's what the expectation should be for every single fan of Super Bowls, man. Not not divisional rounds, none, none of this other, uh, you know, lame shit, man. Um, I'm hard on these guys. I, I, I don't, I am, man. I'm, I'm, I don't put up with it anymore, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up with it, dude. So. I want the best. I want this team to to do it, do it, do it they can. But at the same time, with the Joneses in power right now, man, to be honest, it's it's a hard sell, bro. <laughs> it's a hard sell. But guys, let me know what you guys think about the news here. Pollard, tag, Terrence Steele, second round tender. I thought I kind of think that's kind of stupid. Should have been a first round tender, but whatever. That's what they do. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.